Uh, I saw a really hilarious um, Craigslist ad uh, last week. I've got this program on my computer that my buddy Brendan gave me that you guys know. Uh And it plays old NES video games from Nintendo. Okay. The very original Nintendo. So I was looking up uh, a Nintendo controller. So on Craigslist, I type the word Nintendo in. And I see an ad, and it literally says, We'll fuck you while playing Mario. What? And I'm like, what is happening? So I click on this. And it's, <laughs> yeah, no, no, of course. You see that. Oh, well, yeah. fuck you while playing Mario. You click on it, and it's a guy who says, ever fantasized about being fucked while playing the original Mario video game? I will tell you what hotel to show up at. Mario will be queued up for you to play. You will stick your ass in the air while you play. I will emerge from the bathroom and continue fucking you. Every time you die, I will donkey punch you. <laughs> Well, that sure beats my Cinnabon earrings. Oh, my God. I wish I had it to read you guys. It was classic. So what did this guy look like when you met him? Yeah. (laughs) Which hotel did you go to? I know how you love Mario. (laughs) And donkey punches. (laughs) Whatever that is. It was classic. And it said, anytime you get a one-up, I will finish on your ass. What's that mean? A one-up. I know what the finish is. I will get a free life. Oh, oh. Wow. My God. Did you call him just to see? <laughs> no. I mean, I'd love just to call this guy and, and have him <laughs> on the show. It. I'll when find we, it. When we get a phone system, so we're calling that are guy. We, are we assuming this guy is gay, or was he trolling for chicks who might be into that? That's only a gay guy thing, it, it right? It d- didn't say. It well, just said stick your ass in the air. Hmm. I'm just thinking... Well, you're thinking about who plays that. It's going to be. It's going to be a guy. It's going to be older guys who played that when they were growing up. and yeah. had, It's nostalgic. And want to go back in time and do what they were always fantasizing about as a kid. My God. <laughs> no, it scares me. It so this scares wasn't me. on a fetish page. This was just <laughs> no. Nintendo. So you type like, in Nintendo, everything pops up. Yeah. So All a right. kid could have been like, oh, let's see oh, if yeah. I can find some. Yep. It, you know, it really, when you think about it, it's scary, the freaks that are out there. It's scary. And that they're just, they're everywhere. They're just lurking at the, at the grocery store. It's scary that you didn't know about them until the internet. I mean, they've always been around. Well, that's true. I yeah. mean, they've always been out there. And so, you know, growing up in Indiana, you always thought you had this, the, the nice little town to grow up in. And, and everybody's, you know, you could just let your kid ride his bike, you know, six miles to a friend's house mm-hmm. and not worry about a thing. But there was somebody who was... Fucking somebody up the ass during Space Invaders <laughs> while your kid was driving by on his 10-speed. <laughs> and probably yeah. waved at him out the window. And you all knew the guy's name. Yeah, Space Invaders, <laughs> asteroids, all that. Oh, God. Now, there was a a lady who lived... Oh, I thought we were your Space Invader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big time. There was a lady who Or your lived asteroid. <laughs> Is that where you're going? Kind of. Yeah, sort your of. Your missile well. command. <laughs> I was trying to think of other old games. That's all I got. The Centipede. You know what game I loved is uh, Kaboom. <laughs> you guys are old. It's when I, you, you don't know those games? Of course I know those games. See, then you're old. Too. old. My uncle played them. Oh. I played oh. Mario. It's that supposed to be it. a happy day. Eric, you're not supposed to make us feel old and depressed. <laughs> Just look at the screen, Eric, while I play. <laughs> don't look around. Don't, don't turn around. <laughs> no, I'm the one playing. Yeah. I guess he did specify your playing. Yeah, you because it, it was very vague in the title. It could have been him playing. You ever fantasized about, about, while playing Mario? Well, right. Like, uh, like he's playing it. No, but the, you could also, while he's playing it, you're you're doing him. Well, is that he, a two person game? You'd think that'd be harder because he's got a console. <laughs> can be. Yeah. Can, can you play two players? Well, so I wonder if he's got the Nintendo uh, controller on your back. Hmm. <laughs> fire! 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 Fear! Fear! I don't think there's any firing in Mario, right? <laughs> oh, not at all. But no, what do I know? We'll, we'll pretend. <laughs> we'll pretend playing for you. Playing completely different. I was back and playing Asteroids. Mm-hmm. Was that your game down at the arcade? Um. Well, no. My game at the arcade, uh, and I, it's so funny because when my nephew was in in town visiting, we went to the Sherman Oaks Castle Park, and so they have a a bunch of modern um, video games like Terminator and stuff like that, shooting aliens. But there's also some vintage games there, and Galaga was my game, right? Kick ass. Love it. Love it. Table the, game or the stand up version? The stand up. But uh, oh, I do have the Italian took a, um, a video of me. We went to Noble. What was it? No, Noble Numer- Romans? No, no. Numero Uno Pizza one night and they had Table Galaga. And I was like, oh. Uh, she said it was like I. Games is older than pizza. <laughs> God, I hate <laughs> no, Numero Uno. Was, you do? I hate them. I can't stand them. Oh, it was good. I don't know. Mm, I mean, we got I've it to never go. had a good experience. We ordered it and then went to pick it up, but it wasn't ready yet. So I was like, oh, Table Galaga. So I yeah, sat there. Yeah, were running down to pizza. I had to get you one if you liked it. <laughs> I need my pizzone. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I'm playing table gal again. I just, I kick ass at that. But what I found out, um, that I, and I'll, I'll she's videotaping this. Yeah. She had, uh, she had her, yeah, my Evo. What or were you doing that uh, she's like, Oh, I got to get this on video. You know her- what? I guess I go into some sort of weird, I don't know this because I'm in the moment, but you got like a face. Yeah. That. And like, um, you just see, you just see my one, you know, you just see that because you got the control and then the, the fire. And so I guess I get really intense, like just in, in like a trance and she's like, what the? So she got the phone out to uh, video. So I'll put that on. That's something else I'll put on HeidiandFrank.com after I review it a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure it looks really silly. Yeah, what the hell? That's Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Floor. But uh, yeah, just like, looking behind the curtain. Yeah, because I was just. She said it was weird being in a relationship for so long with you and never knowing your Gallica. You know, because I was like, oh my god, Gallica. And she's like, okay. And I go, yeah, fifty. And she's like, I think I I might have she round them around in her pocket. Um, but I got all excited. But the thing is, when we were, uh, she got her change wallet with the chain on it that was hooked to her belt loop. Um, but we went to Sherman Oaks, the the Castle Park, and uh, the vintage uh, Miss Pac Man. I suck. So uh, I couldn't stay alive for fifteen seconds. So I, I always sucked at Pac Man. Really? No, My nephew was like. I, I, you know, I'm like, I'm trying, and I just... Yeah, I'd get to the blue screen and think I fucking was the shit. <laughs> I think that was, like, screen two. No, I sucked. I couldn't stay alive for more than 15 seconds. I just, like, I couldn't... I would go this way, and, ooh, there, the little guy's chasing me. And I go back the other way, and he'd eat me, and i No, Ms. Pac-Man, the only difference was the bow and the hair. I think so. I mean, as far as, like... Uh, everything else was the same. The, the, the maze and everything was the same. It just happened to be have lipstick and a bow. I think so. I believe so. Yeah, it wasn't what really a all rip that. Off. It wasn't really all that creative. And then, did you feel faggy as a guy playing Miss Pac Man? You're like, yes. yo, I ain't a fag. I play Pac Man. Yeah. You're like, it's a bow and lipstick. I, n- I never dip- would. Yeah, see, <laughs> me maybe, either. Maybe, <laughs> like, nope. So okay, so obviously it was only for girls. But I, I mean, remember the grossest thing I used to do. There was the arcade down at the mall. I mean, back when it was just the whole store was just an arcade inside the mall. Yeah, and they took tokens. And uh, I'd go and I'd put my dollar in or a couple of dollars that my mom would give me while she went shopping. I put a couple of dollars in. And I don't know if I just didn't wear pants with pockets or the. I just always would put. I, I had I, your I, sweatshorts on. No, what it was is that, uh, you know, you play a game and then when you, you had so many seconds to put another token in to continue the game. Oh, so you didn't want to have to dig into a pocket. Yeah, like you and, wanted and, you know, I'm reaching down on my tough skins, trying to grab another token out, yeah. and I couldn't get my hand in there. And so I ended up just taking my, my quarters, my 2 or $3 worth of quarter, or, uh, tokens, and I put them in my mouth. Frank. So I could play the game, and it's like, okay, you know, you died, and time to put another one, and I'd just spit one out, put it in my hand, and then I'd, I'd put it back. But the tokens go that right is, back in the machine. That is disgusting. Talk about the, the filthiest thing on the planet was the arcade token. <laughs> I mean, you might as well just go down to Chuck E. Cheese and lick the slide or whatever they got in that whole jungle gym thing. Just go lick it. That is disgusting. Maybe that's why I never get sick. And that's what I was going to say. This is what depresses me even more. sucked on tokens. You you (laughs) sucked on arcade tokens, and I'm the one that had worms as a kid. And I would have never done that. But you uh, used to to Mm. stick your finger in your dog's ass, right? No. Is that how you got worms? You stuck no, your finger I, in your dog's no, ass and you a, sucked your thumb? I was a thumb sucker. Yeah, because you stuck your finger in your beagle's ass that had worms. <laughs> no, I just would, I guess, hold the beagle and have dirty hands and then suck my thumb. I don't know. I don't think it was beagle a, fecal. The, yeah, the only way you can get worms is by eating the, the what's, well, where, where's the worms coming out of the dog? Not on its fur, not may, when you're petting it under maybe its chin. It, uh, maybe I laid down on the carpet in the dining room. With its asshole room. in your face? No, maybe after it did the little boot scoot and boogie dance across the dining room shag carpeting, and then I'd lay down do like that and suck my thumb, and I don't so know. So you're basically, the, your carpet at home was just covered in dog ass I've streaks. been fascinated with carpet ever since I was a child. Do we need to You go? were down there munching on the carpet then, you sucked <laughs> the fecal matter Probably right off of it. Probably, it was as close as I could get. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I love that. Oh, this carpet's squiggly on my tongue. <laughs> Swallowing it all. Oh, yeah, but you're the one who sucked on tokens. That's bizarre.